Well, good afternoon, class. Good afternoon. How are you today? I'm very good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, well, welcome back to my record class again. Uh, today we have um, a number of activities, yeah, as usual. But uh, in the last previous meeting, we, think we have conducted a presentation class, yeah. We have discussed about person perfect, we have discussed about, uh, about how simple, yeah, and so on and so forth. But today we will do another activity. We will be doing a dictation, but it's like different, different dictation, yeah, different. Yeah, I'm going to dictate you some sentences, yeah, and then you have to recall what, uh, what I say, yeah. Uh, okay, don't worry, we will do it uh, uh, more than one time, yeah, we will do it more than once, yeah. First, you, uh, I need you to prepare a pencil or pen and a paper, yeah. For the first time, yeah, I will read a sentence, I will read the sentences, yeah. But it is important that you cannot uh, write down what I said. When I finish, you have to recall what I said. Yeah, you can uh, recall it by writing down the words, word by words, yeah, to make it like a uh, sentence, yeah, yeah. It is important to remember that there are four sentences in this, uh, in this first activity, okay? You ready, class? Yeah. Okay. Please, uh, pay attention. Let's see what, how much. A nine year old girl in Brazil has just become the world's youngest mother. She gave birth last week to a healthy baby daughter. The baby's father, a 16 year old youth, has run off to escape the law. Both parents come from illiterate farming families in a remote part of Brazil. Okay, and that's all. So there were four sentences. Now you can recall, yeah, you can try to recall the words that I have said to you. Okay, I will give you one to two minutes to write down. Okay. It is okay if you if you don't have uh, as much as I have, as I have said before, yeah, because we will do the second uh, look, we will do the second part of the, we will do the second uh, time of the session, okay? What are you? How much do you have? Only four. Only four, okay, that's good. And how about you, Rika? Rika, one. One? One sentence with <coughs> Nine words? Wow, wonderful! Okay, so I guess uh, you, both of you have uh, uh, grasped, yeah, you have understood many sentences and many words, yeah? But don't worry, we will do the second, uh, the second time, yeah? We will do the second uh, loop of this discussion, okay, you ready? Yeah? A nine-year-old girl in Brazil has just become the world's youngest mother. She gave birth last week to a healthy baby daughter. The baby's father, a 16-year-old youth, has run off to escape the law. Both parents come from a literate family in a remote part of Brazil. Okay. Well, I see here one who's got more than four from the previous one. Yeah. Very good. Sir, so we write down the words uh, or the sentence like, by ourselves. Uh, the words or the sentence? Yeah, it's better for you to write down the sentence. Yeah, the sentence. But it is okay if you only uh, can only recall words by words. Yeah, because. Uh, later on, after this activity, I will need you, one of you, volunteer.
continually write down in front of the class yeah, to make, uh, make the sentences in logical order. Okay? Do you think you have finished uh, writing down? Yes. Okay, this is the last loop. This is the last uh, time. Now you have to confirm your sentences word by word. Okay? Okay, here we go. A nine year old girl in Brazil has just become the world's youngest mother. She gave birth last week to a healthy baby daughter. The baby's father, a 16 year old youth, has run off to escape the law. Both parents come from illiterate farming families in a remote part of Brazil. Okay, let's see, how much did you get? Okay, now I want you to count your words. Yeah, how many did you get? Please count the words that you get after I read uh, the text. Okay, from becoming 25. 25, yeah. wow, wonderful. There are there are many, yeah, there are a lot of words. Okay, <coughs> yeah, thank you. And what about you? 24. 24, wow, 24 and 25, wow, almost perfect, thank you. Now, do you think that you have the words in logical order? Do you think that you have the words in logical order? Do you think that you have completed? The four sentences that I, that I have read to you? Uh, I don't think so. Yes. You don't think so? Okay. Now, I need one of you to come in front of the class voluntarily, yeah? To help us to, uh, to get into the sentences. Okay, maybe. Who wants to? Okay, Dika. Dika is the first. Okay, yeah, thank you, Dika. Now, please take one of this one marker. Okay. So I write down all of the sentences? Yeah. Maybe you can uh, write down the sentence first. Remember that these sentences yeah, are related to one, one to each other. Yeah? This is one text.
Okay, as, as one of you is working down in front of the class, please pay attention to what you do. It seems that one of you has more than one sentence, right? Yep. Yeah, we can see on the
This is the perfect solid, yeah? This is the perfect solid. Has the cup is one combination. Okay. Yeah, has the cup. So it will become a nine-year-old girl in Brazil has become a youngest mother in the world. Yeah? This sentence belongs to present perfect tense because yeah, this sentence contains the auxiliary has and it is followed by verb three, right? Yes. Yeah? Verb three. Do you know the verb one version of become? Became. Became? Are you sure? Become. Become. Yeah, become, became, become. Has to become. Yeah? Okay. okay, now, my next question. Why do you think we need has? Because, yeah, the subject is singular. Yeah? The subject is singular. Yes. Okay? And then, there's something funny in this sentence, yeah? Okay. Let's focus on the subject. Oh. Yeah? A nine-year-old girl. <laughs> A nine-year-old girl. What do you think about this subject? A nine-year-old girl. Can you explain what, what it means? Adjective. It contains adjective. Yes. Very good. Which one is the adjective? Nine, a nine-year-old. Nine-year-old. Very good. Then, if it is a, a, an adjective, you have to put the yeah the das nine year old in a das yeah okay a nine year old girl yeah this is the adjective for example if this is an adjective we can substitute with a beautiful girl right a nice girl yes yeah? then in the sentence a nine year old girl so it become adjective right Yes. Okay, so in this sentence only, we have focused three things. Yeah? Yes. The first one is this sentence belongs to present perfect, and the second one, this sentence contains a auxiliary, auxiliary verb. Yeah? And the third one, we focus on the adjective. Okay? Yeah? Yeah. Now, uh, I think we have done we have uh, we have done this activity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next activity, I want you to find out. Yeah, find out an article. You can find it on magazine or maybe um, news. Yeah, a newspaper or maybe online newspaper. Yeah. Please find out an article that is interesting to you. Yeah. Then you can analyze, yeah, you have to analyze the use of present perfect tense and past simple in the article that you uh, that you get later on. Okay? Okay class, I think that's all for today's lesson. What do you think about today's lesson? It's good. Cool. I can learn uh, I can learn a lot of things. You can you can learn a lot of things. Okay, very good. And what about you what do you?